This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. So, day number four, I want to say, yeah, day number four of recordings for Gran Turismo 6 kicks off with the NA Sports Series, a race event exclusively for cars with naturally aspirated, or NA, engines. Engines that use only natural airflow. Have fun with these highly responsive machines. So, yesterday, we tried to do this, but my wheel, or my adapter, I should say, was having a bunch of issues. So I went ahead and already bought the car that we're going to be using, so we're not going to the dealership. We're using the 2013 Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8 track. I'm already in the car, so you can't hear the startup. So Silverstone Grand Prix, Suzuka Circuit, and Brands Hatch Grand Prix are the venues we're going to. 500 performance points or less, and normally aspirated, as the title says, of the actual championship. No problem, Celica. No problem, dude. You know me, man. You know you can always come to me if you ever need to chat or anything. So unfortunately, as you can see, we already tried using the car. Literally yesterday in the stream, we um, we got off the line and then we just couldn't go anymore. And I was wearing shoes because I went to the store this morning. So like, I'm taking my shoes off. No foot cam because I have ugly feet. And you got to pay extra for that. Ooh, nice, dude. Fuck yeah, let's go. Wait, you stream? Or are you going to start streaming? Like, I have a... Wait, I, actually, do I even have a HDMI? Oh, I think I do have one for my Xbox. But, like, I was trying to play Burnout 2 Point of Impact on my Xbox, and for whatever reason, the, um... Like, like that cursed ja uh, Japanese GT4 stream that I did that one night, um, it was not working. Like, like Burnout 2 Point of Impact, was too, the sound was super choppy. I don't know why. Burnout 3 Takedown worked just fine, so that's good. Considering the fact that Burnout 3 Takedown... Oh, fuck. Nearly killed the Holden. Um, Burnout 3 Takedown is going to be the um, 750 follower goal for the Twitch channel. You don't have an Ogato? Oof. I feel you. I mean, you gotta work with what you have. Also, I can't hear the game at all. There we go. Now I can actually hear it. Might be a little too loud. Might be too loud for me, I'm saying. So that way it doesn't bleed through the microphone. Rock Band and Forza? Oh, okay. I didn't even know there was, like... A rock band community for streaming. I mean, then again, there's a community for everything. Oh, there's another Genesis. Nice. Dude, this car's really cool. Like, my brother had one. That's the reason why I bought it. I bought the Genesis because my my old my second oldest brother used to own a Genesis before he decided to get a Ford Ranger. I forget what fucking trim. Yo, Arthur. Um, but yeah, um, he used to own a Genesis, and that thing was fun to drive. I tried convincing him multiple times to take it either to the canyons or to like Auto Club Speedway for a track day or autocross, and he never did. And now my oldest brother, he owns a 5.0 Mustang, a brand new one. You made friends in Rock Band? Ooh, nice, dude. That's kind of like... So, your experience with Rock Band and making friends in real life with it is like my experience with Gran Turismo Sport. So, like, the IRL friends that I made out of GT Sport are Marvin the Gamer 27 and then this one dude called the Redline Racer. And then hopefully when COVID's over, obviously um, me and Cyrus can become actual, like, um, IRL friends. Because we were supposed to, I was supposed to go to Oregon this year, but that didn't happen because of COVID. But it's always nice, dude, when you can actually, like, find friends online and then, you know, you, you know, they can become IRL friends through the shared love of said community and everything. check out discord um i have to read it again because since i don't play that i don't quite understand it 
So I have to check it out again and read it carefully, read it a couple times to get an understanding. Yo, what's up, Rush? Streaming drought? Dude, I had a streaming drought for a whole year, and if it, it, it fucking took a huge mental toll on me. Oh, dude, you bet your you bet your ass I'm going to Germany again, bro. Gamescom 21. If the situation is better by then, fuck yeah, I'm going to Germany again. Bro, like you, me, and German Ender, we, we gotta tear shit up in Cologne. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I mean, I used to stream on YouTube all the time, Fiends, and then... I don't know, like, my, my living situation is not ideal. At all. And so, just like, constant... Constant BS in my own house pretty much stopped me from streaming, and like, eh. I'm not gonna get into too much detail about it, but it really took a toll on me mentally. Jason with the host. Thank you, dude. Oh, dude. That would be fun. I'd like to go to Poland. Like, I'd like to go visit Warsaw. Or, like, the small parts of Poland, wherever you're from. That'd be cool. Also, third lap. Shelby Series 1 and Acura HSC are leading the field. But they're not track cars like our Hyundai Genesis 3.8 track is, because this is a track car, because it's called track. Bro, Celica, we gotta get you, I gotta get you to the US one day, so that way you can race the freaking um, Cal Speed 12 hours and be teammates with me. <laughs> I know it's like rental carts, blah, 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 but the 12 hour endurance is still fun. Oh, my understeer. Bad? Why? I mean, you'd have more experience than me, for sure. Oh, the sprint racer. Got it. Well, you can start the races. <laughs> also, speaking of endurances, we still need to do VLN together. As if you've been playing iRacing at all. Ah, uh, well, okay, I see. That makes sense. So you're basically just used to... Like your mind is pretty much set on just all out sprint racing and pushing as hard as you can in the small amount of time you're allotted. Here comes the Acura. And we're good to go. Easy win. Fiends with the host as well. Thank you, dude. So, hooray. That's Silverstone down. And we just have Suzuka and the other race to go. And we just have Suzuka and the other race to go. And we just have Suzuka. <laughs> oh, boy. The freaking Echo. I... I clicked on Fiends' channel to go follow him, and then um, I, he's hosting me, so that's why my stream started playing back. I was like, wait, what? Where's that coming from? All right. Suzuka's next. Two more Grand Prix circuits. I believe they're three laps each. What sort of... <laughs> what? <laughs> so we have a roof leading... Okay, so like two tuners in the front, and then a concept, and then a bunch of other like production models. Once again, another Genesis. So 
I'm gonna chase cam for this one. Also rush with the host. Thanks, dude. That's the Camaro. Oh, of course, semi-premium car. Looks really nicely detailed. On the exterior, at least. Dude, fuck yeah, man. Like, well, I don't need to tell you anything about streaming since you've already streamed for two years prior. I mean, just do... Like, I mean, all I can tell you is just do something that you have fun with. Also, Celica with the host. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you for all the hosting. But I mean, yeah, man, just like, just just do what you think would be fun. Like, that's the thing. Arrow yesterday was talking to, was, he beat NFS Most Wanted 05, right? And then he was like, do you guys want me to do the challenge series? And I just said, no, only because, like, I would want you to do something that you would have fun with. And he kind of said, well, the idea is for me to do something that you guys want to see, but at the same time, I feel like I want to see a streamer having fun with what they're doing. Either having fun or challenging themselves, you know? And if they're bored out, if you can tell they're bored out of their mind, I'm not going to bother watching. Like my friend Catcool, like, he was LPing Forza Motorsport 3, and I could tell that he did not enjoy one single minute of it. Well, he enjoyed, like, the first two streams of it. But considering that he did the season play or the world tour, whatever the fuck it's called, I think no, it's called world tour in FM4. Um, yeah, dude, Rick got so tired of playing FM3, and I got tired of watching him play FM3 because I knew he wasn't enjoying it. Like, if if you can tell that the streamer is not enjoying just anything they're doing, obviously, unless it's like a competitive stream or something like, that's different. But what I mean is like something that's fun or laid back. Like, if you're not enjoying what you're doing. I don't want to watch, because, like, I, I just wouldn't have any interest, honestly. That's why I watched the GT3 stuff. That's why I watched him play GT Sport, doing lobbies, because you, you can tell he has fun with it. FM3, like, I feel like FM3 was sucking the life out of him. You were just moderating? Ah, look at you. Look, what a good mod. That's a good boy. Broke way too late to even try trail breaking around T1 and 2. Also, I want to say this is the first time in the game that we're racing as Suzuka. Which is pretty cool. This isn't the Group 4 car. Oh, thanks, Ender. I, I totally forgot that. I mean... Yes, Celica? At the same time, though, I don't expect my moderators to treat moderating like it's a full-time job, where if, like, you get called into the clock, then you have to be here to moderate and shit. Like, for me, it's just like, okay, obviously my, my mods are all people that have watched me from, like, the very beginning or close friends. In the case of Arthur, he's both. In the case of you, you're a mix of both, too. But, like, it's mainly just that. It's close friends and people, it's, you have to be, like, Someone I consider a good friend and someone who watches me for a long time. But, you treat it as helping? I see. But what I'm saying is, like, I don't really expect my moderators to be on all my streams. That's unrealistic. If I was paying you to mod me, that's different. Like, then I would expect you, all right, you gotta be here, blah, 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 blah. But, like, I just give you the, you know, I give you the tool so that way you can enjoy yourself, but then when the time comes to actually ban Mr., you know, what phone do you have, then obviously that's when you come in and do your, you know, do your thing, but I don't really expect you to be everywhere all the time. That's the thing I tell one of my best friend Ambush King's mods, but, like, one of his mods, like, she's super dedicated and I love her for it, but, like, damn, dude, like, I, I feel like... I, I feel like Ambush's um, vastly growing, very large growing community wouldn't be what it is without her too, because like, holy fuck, man, he, she keeps him on his toes, kind of like I do. Have I seen what you tweeted to Apple today? I haven't, I haven't been on Twitter at all this morning.
You used to mod a channel like that? Oof. Yeah, that's terrible, dude. Like, that, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. You can't really have that mentality when you're given mod, you know, mod powers, dude. Because, you, you know, you're still a viewer at the end of the day. You have to enjoy yourself. You know, like, I, I don't want any of my moderators to be, like, Forza Motorsport moderators. I'll check that out in a bit. You'd ban yourself? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, if... Like... If, if any of my mods were to ever be Forza style mods, I would just say, nah, dude, you're, you're, like, you need to chill. Like, imagine, like, sneezing and then you get banned for sneezing or just breathing air. Like, I, like I was telling Russell, like, or Russell and Arrow, I was like, dude, at this point, like, uh, Turn 10 is just gonna ban everybody before Forza 8 even comes out or whatever the fuck. I mean, fuck, I'm getting banned enough for calling Forza 8. Shit, uh, for the next, uh, installment in turn 10's uh possible series since 2004 or 2010 i don't know uh fuck i don't want to step on any toes here but like what do we call the next four is it even called fours again oh it's called fours and motorsport uh shit oh sorry rough i was too rough with you um damn i'm getting banned guys for calling it fours eight shit and I'm getting bad for already speculating what what even the game is going to be. Is it going to be a video game or is it going to be a movie? I don't know. Fuck. Even just saying hello in the Forza Discord, you get banned. Like, imagine speculating cars and tracks and then getting banned for speculating a, a date of release. That's stupid. Like, there's no difference between speculating that. It's still a speculation of something that hasn't been confirmed. You're staying quiet because you invested too much time in FH4. Let's see here. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Oh, that's great. I just saw the tweet. Yeah, sneezing in Ma's direction. Exactly! Thinking the next game would be good. Yeah. Did you say our game is going to be a masterpiece? Are you excited? Like, you, you're excited for a game that... Like, how are you speculating your, your excitement already? That's a ban. You see, that's the wonderful thing because, you know, PD is... They, they don't ban anybody. And then turn 10 bans everybody. There's no in-between for both. Yeah, stop having fun. There's no Genesis this time. All right. M3 GTR, two M3s, a Corvette. All right. Yeah, oh, you're having fun? Exactly. Like, like PD doesn't ban any of, like, the... The homophobic, racist, and toxic players, and then and the dirty drivers, and then turn ten just bans everybody for being too kind and cuddly. Yeah, no fun zone. You're not allowed to have fun in my simulation. <laughs> Dude, wait, wait, wait. I think I know who you're talking about, Arthur. There is a. I don't remember his name. But there's this dev that works for Codemasters who was like, you could tell he's super outgoing in social media because he's always posting fun stuff and like, and he's always engaging with people. I think it's that same person. Oh God, I'm so used to driving group threes around here. Fucking hell. I would be too, man, if I saw that shit. Ooh, nice C4. 
Too bad the driver behind is really slow. Damn, we're already past almost half the field on the first lap. I mean, driving on a circuit that's more twisty and technical and a bit slower than Zuka and Silverstone, kind of expecting that to happen. Yeah, is is that Laguna Seca? Like, no, you can't speculate if that's Laguna Seca. But that's the course crew. No. We never said it was Laguna Seca. What if they're right? What if it's, um... What if it's Monterey? Or what if it's uh, Selena's Raceway? Because they couldn't get the licensing for Laguna Seca, so they made their own up. Kind of like Project Cars with that fake Suzuka. I think turn 10 might be onto something here. With the fork curve. <laughs> the fork on the right? Sakito circuit? Yeah, I, I played it once at Mikhail's house when I played Project Cars and I wasn't a fan. Like, I don't care if a circuit is fake, like, like if it's a fake circuit, and if it's super close to reality, but, like, changing it, changing it way too much, like, track, track-wise? Eh. Yo, Celica, what the four months, dude? Oh, you're too kind. I forgot about that September shit. I completely forgot about that. Look at me, bad Twitch streamer. But, I appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much for the four months, man. So the M3 is now leading. So the Mustang, it lost the lead. Of course, we're already behind the boys. Has anyone done any Daily C this week? Which is GR3 at Brands Hatch? Like, I, I did some on my second account. It's so much fun, dude. Like, I drove the Subaru. It's so freaking fun. Like, I kind of regret... I mean, I'm not doing any menu this season. Like, it's not that I'm not doing any. I just haven't had the chance to or, like, time, really. And in any time that I have to play games, I just want to play something fun. So, like, dude, I was driving the freaking Subi. It's so freaking fun. Like, I, I never had that much fun, and I love the sound of it, too. Like, I don't care if the car is dog shit or whatever, but, like, dude, that car is so freaking fun to drive. Brands punishes Yeah, I mean, short circuit, technical. It's kind of bound to happen. Yeah, dude, I, I, I think for the next, like, look, I, I was gonna, I'm gonna let the cat out the bag. I was gonna consider signing with Ford for the second exhibition, if there's a second one. I might still sign with Ford and choose the Mustang if, um, Blue Moon Bay Speedway is a race, which might be, you never know. But if it's not, if there's no Blue Moon in GR3 for manufacturers, then I'm going with Subi. That WRX is so freaking fun, dude. I just love the sound of it, too. Modern F1 car? No. I mean, well, yeah, okay, modern F1 car. I'm gonna say iRacing, I could technically do it, but I forgot the most modern F1 car in that is um, the 2015 McLaren F1. It's too fast? Ooh, that sounds fun. So, another three golden stars because the teacher likes this, and yay. Ooh, 54, nice. That is a pretty fast lap. Although I think we're going to drive the Red Bull Juniors around Brands. Forza 6 and 7. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot the Forza 6 and 7 have F1 cars, like actual F1 cars, before GT Sport got their hands on an official F1 car. So that is the NA Sports Series done. Nah. We're not done with the game, of course, but we are... 
30% of the way down, about to hit that one-third of the way mark. And, uh, yeah, next up is uh, Turbo Racing. <laughs> 